guys. This is Royal 69501 and welcome to my channel. Uh -huh. Well, the comment that I'm going to display is, yeah, of course, from the 90s. What else is new? Uh, but this one is uh, Detective, uh, Detective Comics issue number zero. From that big event, 97, the zero, uh, zero hour. Well, I like the cover because we get to see Batman, Robin, and the Bat Symbol. It's a pretty cool cover. Check this out. Nice, huh? I'm gonna leave it here. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you my thoughts and review for Forever Evil Arkham War. Issue number two. Check out that cover. Although I don't like the cover that much because it's too. For me, I find it to be a little bit dark. Too dark. And the inside is dark also. Well, I have to say that this was good. I really like Forever Evil Arkham War. I mean, Bane here is just... Bane. He's just badass. I mean, he doesn't need to talk too much. He just... He just has to... He can go anywhere and just stand still and let, the, let his presence do the talking. That's all. I mean, Bane is a badass. So here, the comic star that we have a big fight with the bad guys versus like a big, uh, like a gang of man bats, as we can see here. I mean, it's a badass fight. Actually, the whole issue goes fighting. So, there's fight. Love the art. Like the colors. A little bit dark, but other than that, like it. So, uh, there's a big fight. We see the man bats versus the guys from Arkham Asylum and Blackie because the bad guys, they are fighting bad guys. So now we have the man bats fighting bad guys, fighting bad guys. It's a bit confusing. I know. So, as we can see here, there's the fight is still going on. Uh, then we get to see uh, that James Gordon and what's her name? Uh, what is her name? I uh, forgot her name. Okay, that's what I say here. Anyway, we see that at least on the new 52, they they make uh, not an honorable mention, but they did not erase it because there's a part here where James Gordon and some um, some woman they're hiding, they're hiding from the bad guys and they're also searching for food. As we know, Gotham City has no power, no electricity, so. And plus, half of the city is being destroyed already. So, they are talking, we get to see that James is going to use reference of uh, this uh, crossover that they made back in the 90s, uh, what was it, uh, Contagion. They make a reference here as the play, well we all know that what happens in Contagion, in Contagion was the play, kind of. And also he mentioned here about earthquakes. That's cataclysm back over the 90s, which I like that. At least in a way they did not erase those two big events on the Batman universe on the New 52. So, that was pretty cool. So, besides that, they are talking and hiding and trying to eat. And then suddenly we see the penguin. You know, the penguin is such a badass. I mean, to be a short fat guy, to be short and fat, and that looks like a penguin. Well, he just, he's kind of like, I'm, it's like, I'm bad. I mean, I'm the guy here in Gotham City. That's it. And he also used, so he's talking, the penguin's trying to run everything. He's trying to be buddy buddies with, with Bane, and he wants to be buddy buddy with the rest of the bad guys. So he's trying to play both sides. Because he's a businessman, that's it. So he's talking to Bane, and he says, look, uh, I'm looking for somebody. And I would like you, we'd like you to find it. And guess who that somebody that the penguins wants Bane to look for? Well, no, uh, no other, no other than Emperor Penguin. Remember that the skinny guy used to be the penguin's right hand? on the crossover, not crossover, story arc, Emperor Penguin, when he got in jail and he lost everything, and this and that, and his right hand took over his organization. Remember that? Well, 
the penguin is still after that guy's tail. So he still has a rush against that guy. So he told Ben, look, you eventually happen to bump to that person. If he's still alive, just bring it over. And Ben says, okay, fine, I will bring it over for you if he's still alive. So then from there we go back and there and, and the fight is still going on. I mean, this is just pure combat, mayhem, brawl. Call it Royal Rumble. Because that's what it is. So uh, after that, uh, let's see what else. Ah, yes, because I forgot to mention something. Uh, that what you see here on the cover do not happen on the inside. The only thing that happens on the inside is Bane. That's about it. No talon at all. The talon they are still frozen. So the, the thing is that while Bane is after the talon that they have hiding in the special designing room for the talons underneath of Black Gate. It is Black Gate? Yes, Black Gate. Also, the man bats are after the talons. So now we have been fighting the man bat for the same thing, which happened to be the popsicle talon, frozen talon. Uh, <laughs> so while all that's going on, they managed to save one talent, but the rest of the talent that was in that room, they were taken away by the man bat. And top of that, after that we get to see that while well, everything is being broken because everything now nowadays is run by computers and all that, so well, James Gordon managed to, to have, or to use, like a 1950 or 1960 Impala police car. Awesome car. I'm not kidding. It looks like Impala to me. Over here. Looks like an Impala. Or Chevy. No, it looks like an I think it is a Chevy or Impala. Well, it may be some mixture of those or those two cars. I doubt it that they will use an actually a licensed car. But you know, from the front it looks like a Impala mixed with some other model. Anyway, it's a 1950. 50, 60, because they, all the cars back then, there were no, no computers, so. And then the persecution continues, and then we have the end of it, which I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, well, I have to say that the story, it was good. I really like it. I have to say that Arkham War, issue number two was a lot better than issue number one. Although issue number one was excellent. But this one was a lot better. Oh yeah. Me. So I would give it 4.5 out of 5. And the art and the colors, everything was just I can really like. Like I said, Bane is just badass Bane. So, well guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. See you later. Bye.